I was supposed to be doing some range maintenance today, but nah, shooting is way more fun. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to run the uh, Soul Crusher from uh, Frank Proctor's Way to Gun class, um, or performance shooting rather. Uh, what that exercise is, you start at the 10 and then you sprint to the 25, and then at the 25 it's five rounds, then down to the 20 for another five rounds, then down to the 15 for another five rounds with a par time of uh, 25 seconds with maximum accountability on a 3x5 index card. Uh, 3x5 index cards, they're super cool, I dig them. Um, they're pretty close to being about the size of a human heart, the actual size of a human heart being approximately 5x3.5x2 by by inches deep. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to run that exact exercise, uh, same part time, same standards, but we're going to change it up a little bit. I have just caboodled these uh, these 25 meter M9 silhouettes that the uh, army likes to use laying around, so I've been burning them up in my own time. Um, what I like to do is uh, actually print off anatomically as correct as possible uh, human heart and human lungs and just simply staple them on here for an actual targeting zone. Um, long, long time ago, someone, when I first started shooting, the uh, kind of school of thought was shoot center mass, shoot center mass. And uh, it wasn't until someone pointed out to me that shooting center mass is nothing more than shooting somewhere, somebody, somewhere in the middle, because you have absolutely no idea where to target them. So talking about that T-zone that a lot of people like to reference, not necessarily the forehead, but the eyes. So it'd be eyes, nose to top teeth would be, that's actually your correct T-zone, with the head not being a very vital... Uh, or viable type target because rounds have been known to kind of skim around the skull. Moving down here, the A zone on this particular target where I got my index finger on the number five, well this kind of right here is a good illustration about aiming at the A zone is not probably the most ideal spot to aim. Um, similar to those uh, police B-27 targets they use, if you were to actually superimpose human anatomy over that, you'd see the actual thoracic cavity is well above the A zone where people are trained to normally shoot at. So if you go online and Google images, whatever, and put these on a PDF file, shrink them, blow them up, and try and get them as anatomically correct as possible, and actually put them uh, in the spot where we should be targeting. So we're going to cover these up with a t-shirt today, so I actually can't see the uh, actual box I want to target, and uh, which is that's actually in, in and of itself is going to force me to pick a reference point on here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. There's this little tag here from this t-shirt, Duke. And uh, I'm going to put my dot here, which is going to bring me right around two and a half inches below it, which uh, my 50 yard zero on my rifle, that's obviously what it's going to be, height over board, 25 yards. So if I leave my thumb right here with that two and a half inches, I don't know if you guys can see my thumb poking out the bottom of this shirt right here, but right there is going to be right about where my rounds are going to impact. And then when you actually lift this shirt up, that puts you right smack in the middle of the heart. So a good aiming point with a red dot is right around this collar area, right here, right around right here, which will drop your rounds right into a good zone. So even on my t-shirt, um, with the company logo dead center in the middle, aiming about right here, the two and a half inches brings you right to that good region. So we're going to keep the time standards the same. Uh, last thing, any round I get kind of outside this box, I'm going to add two seconds on a total part time. We're going to call that a miss. Even if it's a shot that's on the line, I'm going to call that a miss too. So we're going to try and stay within the 25 second, even with the penalties, and we'll see how this goes. So I came down here, checked my target, and uh, this group that we got right here is, isn't too bad at all. This is right around the size of my fist, so it's definitely within a 3x5 card. But if you actually were to lift up this shirt where the actual heart is, I got two rounds outside the heart. So even though this, these rounds are a pretty, pretty nice little group for uh, 25 yards, trying to kind of hustle and bustle and go as fast as you can, 
um, we got two rounds that came outside the heart. So total time on this target that I spent was 2095. So I'm going to call these two rounds two two second penalties. So we're going to call it at 2495, which is still under par. So that kind of in and of itself kind of was that a success or was that a failure? Well, depends really how you look at it. We run a lot of exercises out here that even a failure uh, by simply failing, you actually really became successful. Um, there's one uh, exercise we do in particular um, where we actually really, really work to test out how our equipment is uh, kind of utilized on our body and on management the whole nine. And uh, a lot of guys fall apart on that and they shit the bed as soon as they start getting down to four second windows and uh, they come back all poopy face and whatnot and uh, it, you didn't really fail. You actually were successful just simply for the fact that you actually identified flaws within your own, uh, say, gear kit, the uh, way your mechanics work on your uh, rifle. So here we got the two rounds and we're going to call them two misses. And when you lift this guy up right here, you can kind of see these two rounds or they're like a centimeter above the heart. So that total time here is 24.95. Um, so we're gonna call that uh, a success, but nonetheless, 24.95 with these two rounds up here, even though it is a really nice group, it could be better. So that putting on that t-shirt to actually obscure the target or actually what we're uh, trying to aim at, it definitely threw me off. Um, these two rounds right here, I do suspect they definitely rose at the 15 because I got a little sloppy with my footwork from the 20 to the 15, I had a little bit of energy and instead, instead of kind of rolling into position and do a quick post and shoot, I took one too many steps, which obviously translated through my whole body and then manifested itself in the form of these two flyers right here. So it's a pretty fun exercise. If you have a t-shirt, throw it up here, throw something underneath it, tear it up. Uh, it's a good thing I don't need 10 t-shirts anymore, but uh, until next time, stay safe, quit being a damn armchair commando.